All right, today we're gonna do a little bit different kind of video. Um, everybody knows a beginner or someone who's never played or someone you wanna play with you who knows nothing about disc golf. And they go and go to wherever and buy a disc. And it's a 14 speed driver, a boss, or destroyer, or who knows what. Um, everybody's guilty of it. I'm guilty. My cameraman's very guilty, still is guilty. Um, so what is the perfect beginner disc? There's no right answer, but this is my opinion on it. Of course, everybody wants to throw a putter. Um, that is a very good choice for a beginner, learning how to throw the proper mechanics and all. But I think the best of both worlds is a mid. Throwing a mid range is, yeah, I think it has even more benefits than a putter. And I'll explain why coming up. All right, so here's some of the reasons I think a mid range is a little bit better than a putter, especially this mid range um, for the beginners. A lot of people know how to throw a frisbee, they've thrown a frisbee, but they've never thrown a disc. That transition is pretty big. You wouldn't think so, but it, it's a big difference. So I like the size of a mid-range. To me, I mean, it is the biggest disc out of all the disc fairways drivers. They're just big, especially this one. So they have that feel similar to a frisbee, um, which can be comfortable for someone who's never thrown one in their life. Another thing, obviously everybody's after their distance. So that's why they resort to the 14 speeds, trying to get as much as they can out of it. So if you could get a little bit more than a putter, I think it would make a beginner happy and possibly keep them trying like to get better and better. But if they max out with the putter, they may get bored and who knows, they could quit. <laughs> so uh, that's another reason. One more reason, forehands. You don't, everybody kind of just teaches backhand right at the beginning, but forehanding putters still, even if you're really good, is not very easy. Um, but learning to forehand with a mid-range is a great transition into the faster disc. Um, and then another reason is the putter. Like you can putt with a mid-range. I learned I putted with a mid-range with the Rock 3 for a, at least a year and a half. Um, they fly just as good. Just don't have that small feel. But if you can putt with a mid-range, you can definitely putt with a putter. So my pick for the best mid-range for a beginner is... So we decided to bring out four of them today. Up top we got the VIP Ice. This is from the Trilogy Challenge this year. Feels just like VIP. I think it pretty much is. Maybe a little more clear. But flight number, these are all VIP, broken in at different levels. But flight numbers are five, five, minus two, one. I think that um, glide is a little more like a seven or an eight because <laughs> it flies like a frisbee and it just floats and floats and floats. Um, you can get maximum distance with this thing. Probably as far as a lot of your fairways, even your distance drivers. Um, especially in my case, I shocked myself how far you can throw these. But uh, what I like most about them is just the feel of them. The gumminess of VIP is wonderful. Of course, they make a Regio, they make tournament. But tournament are very hard to find, tournament plastic. So if you find one, let me know. I will buy it. I need it. On the other hand, the feel in the hand is perfect. It's a good size. It's gummy. Got a little give to it slight dome on them yeah just a classic kind of mid-range feel but yeah so I'm gonna do some some throws today and show you what you can do with it it can shape almost any shot except for maybe really overstable stuff but if you have a lighter arm speed you could probably do a lot more of the hyzer stuff but then then again you can use as a putter and one uh -oh. So when they really break in, they get more and more understable, obviously, but you can just throw them out and they'll drift and they hold lines completely the whole way. Try to put this one out to the left and come, make it come back right. Go in. Oh! Almost, we almost had some greatness. Minimal effort, go a long way. Do one more. Flip. A 
little bit of stability. Barely threw it. That's like 280. But as you can see in those last ones, I tried to throw it a little lighter. It's still hard to barely throw it, but minimal effort, maximum distance. Um, and it's just such a nice flight. Kind of just cruise. It's like it's in slow mo, but it's still going. So. Beginners, you will love it. Get a Tursus now. So understable. Try to put this more high there. Yep. Left high there. So, if you're wondering how to analyze it, this is your disc. You see the slowness of it, just like say a frisbee out there, just cruising along, but still getting distance. It's not, it's not like it just floats and drops, but it's getting a good ways out there. So I think this is maybe not a seven speed, this is a nine speed. So if you're looking for that glide. I'm going to try to slow down my arm speed a little bit. Um, we'll see how it flies. I think most people will be happy with that starting out. Speed it up a little bit. A little more height. I mean, that's little to no power, and you see it got almost to the basket. And it'll hold a hyzer. A little bit, a little too much power on that one. So you can see it stands up, still good finish. Um, get one more, really bad for him. Terrible for him, decent shot. Gotta get it. <laughs> this disc can really get wild on the forehand. This, I've seen more high level players use it. This takes a lot of control because it, it will flip. This one I'm gonna try to just do a normal forehand. Keep it under control. A little bit of flip, come back. It's sitting good, we'll back it up a little bit. I'm gonna try more of a right to left. A little more power on it. Turning in. A little too much power maybe, sit, not too bad. That. Look at that. Go in the basket. Parked it. So that's kind of like a trick shot. It's not a trick shot, but you don't see that very often. So if you want to do that, show off to your friends. Once again, get a Tursus. Perfect get out of trouble disc as well. Um, barely have to throw them. There they go. They sit, they hold the line. Well, I hope this video helped you out a little bit. Like I said, plenty of very good mid ranges out there, but if you were to ask me, this is my top pick on uh, what you should try as a beginner. Like I said, if you want to start out with a putter, nothing wrong with it. Just try to avoid the 14 speed driver um, until you learn the proper mechanics and everything. And that's an ongoing thing. I'm still trying to learn. But yeah, the Tursus, great feel. Incredible glide. You can get it to flip even with a little bit of power. Um, a lot of power, you can get it control all the way across the sky. But yeah, just they're affordable. They're nothing like really expensive, but good quality. They last a long time. They don't break in even that fast. But when they do, even better. So uh, definitely recommend getting one. Um, you got anything else? Like I said, try to this out. You will not regret it. Any skill level. But specifically, beginners, buy a tersis. I'm stuck. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Westside Tersis. We're out. I'm stuck.